Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amdhan Saktivel and in this video, we're going to see about functional interface, right? So basically, what is a functional interface, right? In previous video, we have seen about how we can write a lambda expression and what is what are the conditions for writing a lambda expression. I told, you know, uh, to write a lambda expression, the interface needs to be a functional interface and we're going to see a, what is that now. So if there is an interface with just only one abstract or unimplemented method, then we call it as a functional interface, right? This statement holds true before 1.7 because before 1.7, Java 1.7, we, we can have only abstract methods in the interface. But from Java 8, we can also have default and static methods in a functional interface. So from Java 8, if you, if you have an interface that is having number of any number of default or static methods, okay but there should be only one abstract method okay then it can also be called as a functional interface okay so if there is a interface that has only one abstract method okay there is no condition on number of default or static methods it can have okay because basically default or static methods can have have their own implementation so there should be only one abstract method or only one unimplemented method in an interface then those interfaces can be named as functional interfaces in java right these interfaces helps us to write the functional programming way right your it helps us to write uh, lambda expressions right we also see how we can denote the interface as functional interface using an annotation in this uh, coming video right so if you, if you don't understand any of this that's okay we're going to see about that in detail without wasting much time let's get into the workspace right in the previous video we have seen an interface called i printable which has only one abstract method or unimplemented method called as print right the conventional way of you know uh, if you want to provide an implementation for this interface or this particular abstract method, the conventional way of doing it is create a impl class, right? You, you create a class, implement that particular interface, override the method and provide the implementation. But there is also other way of doing it with the help of anonymous inner class, right? This is your conventional way of doing it. You create an instance for your uh, log file impl and then you call the sprint method, it gets over it. And then in the anonymous inner class way, we create a class, okay? We create, there is a method, you know, and then there is there is a braces around it. So we can call it as a class. This class doesn't have a name, so it is anonymous. It also was present inside this test inner class. So this is anonymous inner class because it doesn't have a name, right? We also see about that in detail previous in the previous video. Please go ahead and watch it if you don't understand what is it now, right? So this is the second way of doing it. The functional pro way of pro uh, programming way, right? We have done this using Lambda expression, right? And um, the main condition is, there are three conditions. One among the main one is you, you need to have it as a functional interface. It needs to have only one abstract or unimplemented method, right? Suppose, let's say I go and add one more unimplemented method. So we are breaking the rules now, okay? Let's say it is scan, okay? So we have created a new method. In the normal way of programming, you go over here, Okay, you implement it, you provide your own implementation, right? You can save it, errors are gone. And then even in the anonymous inner class type, uh, you know, the way of doing it, okay, we can go and implement another method and then provide the implementation here. But the problem here is, okay, if you hover your mouse over here, it is telling the target type of this expression must be a functional interface. So you cannot use Lambda expression if, the, if, that, if there are more abstract methods in a in a function in an interface right so if there are more than one abstract method in an interface you cannot use a lambda expression that is one of the main rule right so this is the one that we understood now Let, let's do a control z let's go back to the default way of doing it okay let's do it and then let, let's also remove this right so this is a functional interface this is now a functional interface because it has only one abstract method good now, let's say I also can have default methods from uh, Java 1.8 in an interface. So I can write like uh, sysout uh, scanning, right? So th there is a default method here, right? You can have default method. That is no problem. You can also have static method. Let's say I have one more method like uh, print to console, something like this. Okay, sysout printing to console. So you can have a static method as well inside the interface. This is still a functional interface because it has only one abstract method. It can have any number of default methods. I can also say uh, uh, default, okay. 
sorry guys you can also say default void uh, scan as pdf okay you can have a method like this that doesn't matter but you know anyway we are having we are providing the implementation right so so scanning as pdf you can have any number of default methods or any number of static methods but that should be only one uh, abstract method then this is a functional interface right so now you know it will not throw any error it can understand you are trying to provide the implementation for the only one abstract method in the interface so this is this is okay it will not throw any error okay so this is a functional interface but imagine i am a new new developer who is joining this project okay i want to do some changes so basically i want to add one more abstract method i don't know people are using i know for lambda expression they want this to be they want to maintain only one abstract method in this interface so i come here i add a new public void a new method i am adding a new method okay i don't know because it will not throw i can have any number of uh, you know abstract method but it basically throws a lot of errors here right again i need to provide the implementation if you are using lambda expression you cannot use this so it is causing a lot of issues now so if you want to tell people that you are going to use this as a functional interface just annotate the interface okay as functional interface okay if you notice if you add this okay if you try to add a public void new method now it will basically throw you an error okay it's telling hey invalid functional interface and annotation either you remove the functional interface annotation or you remove this new abstract method okay it that has to be only one abstract method right so basically i'm going to remove it okay if this functional interface annotation okay it's coming it's from java 1.8 you annotate on top of an interface to let people know that you're going to have only one abstract method in this particular interface only if you use an you know functional interface then only you can use lambda expression this is one of the main rule so i'm just focusing more or stretching more towards it okay i hope this makes sense and you have understood what is a functional interface if not i'll go give you a quick summary okay an interface can become a functional interface if it has only one abstract method either it can have only one abstract method okay like this or it can have you know other default or static methods within this okay it is still a functional interface if there is only one abstract method okay that is the main rule of calling an interface as functional interface only on functional interface you can provide an implementation using lambda expressions okay we're going to see more about that in detail how we going to use it in automation uh, test automation side right uh, until then uh, i'll see you all in another great video until then tada bye bye from mugan you all have a very good day tada bye bye